struggling to grow triceps because your elbows hurt too much, let me show you the techniques and principles I use to fix that problem. All right, guys, let's start here with this video and by me giving a disclaimer. If your elbows are in so much pain that you, can, you can't even do cable pushdowns without some issue, you need rest. And you need to go see a doctor and get an x-ray. That's gonna be my best, adv best advice. Now, it may come down to the simple, you need some like deep tissue work done to your triceps, your forearms. It may need you need a chiropractic adjustment. It may need you just ice and rest. It may need you need to change your diet to get your inflammation down around that joint. Or it could be simply that you're pressing too much on the, bar, on the barbell for your chest. So those are all different things that could be causing your elbow issues. Or it could be, like, I've seen people that like, have weird sleep patterns and they sleep weird and their elbows, like, torqued in a weird angle. Or they play a shitload of golf. Or they play a lot of tennis. Or their job is manual labor and they do, like, cranking torque all day long. Well, guess what? That's going to fuck your elbow. <laughs> so be smart there. All right, another cool tip that I like is you can always wear elbow sleeves from Iron Rebel. You can see the video there of the which ones I like. Uh, and then you can also put an Arctic Balm from Lead FTS or any type of like Bengay Icy Hot to keep that joint warm and slip on the elbow sleeve. And that's gonna help your elbows a lot. Now, another thing you do is cut out arm training completely for a month. That's something I've seen be very effective for people. But in the grand scheme of life, I don't wanna avoid training. I wanna find ways to work around the injury so we can still keep the muscle full and strong. Uh, without having to watch it atrophy because you're dealing with joint or tendon pain. So let's talk about how I would structure it if you're able to do exercise, but it's in a, in a way that's gonna give us the most probability for success with growth while keeping you almost nearly pain-free. And the reason we're filming here in the cable station is because this is where we're gonna be most of the workout. <laughs> All day long, I'm gonna start your first two to three exercises with some sort of cable pushdown. Now, what exercise I would like to do is gonna be things that are gonna be wrists where your wrists are free, meaning not fixed. So this rope here is perfect because it's free. It's freeing, right? My elbow can move. It's not locked in to where if I was in a straight bar and I'm here and my elbows are locked in, or I get some D handles and press down, right? Lots of video of me doing D handle pushdowns. And what we wanna think about here is Anything that's gonna lock my elbows in. So like even like a, a classic V bar, that's gonna lock me in and put a lot of tension on that elbow. I want things that are free and freeing that are gonna give me range of motion that I can play with to find that groove that does not cause pain. So that's gonna be step one. Start first two to three exercises with cable pushdowns with a rope or D handles all day long. Um, next, range of motion and reps. So to me, my range of motion wants to be, just like I said in this chest video that we did, that we shot a few minutes ago, was find a range of motion that feels good for that elbow. If a range of, short range of motion hurts, so let's say I'm in the overstretch position, that's awful, but right here feels good, so just pump to here. Let's say in the fully contracted, that's where I feel a lot of pain. So stop just short here. I'm still, I can still fully contract my tricep right there, right? You can see it on the camera, fully contracted. No different than there. Here, here. I can still get to there and do an isolated contraction, so here contract. So that's about range of motion. Find the range of motion that feels good to you and stick with it. Do not push through pain. That's the biggest takeaway there. Next, rep range. This is where I like to take them way up. I would do nothing less than 15. 15 to 25 is going to be your sweet spot because I want to get so much blood and pump into that tricep that's going to put blood in that area and actually cushion that joint. So that's step number three. <laughs> so cable to range of motion to rep range. Those first three exercises are gonna be extremely joint friendly. Then next I wanna get into, I like a machine dip next because you can either do a neutral grip, a pronated grip, or somewhere in the middle. And again, I can work that range of motion that does not hurt that elbow. I can really drive down, squeeze the contraction, and really overload those triceps in a safe way. So again, three to four sets there. You can really do some great uh, intensity techniques in terms of drop sets, rest pulse, cluster sets, rest pulse. Uh, Chris Paul's, you name it, I'm telling you, it's gonna be absolutely killer. So that third exercise, machine dips. And then lastly, I'm gonna fish with a stretch. If your elbows are seriously fucked up, just simply turn around and do an overhead rope extension. But if you're able to do a free weight, I'm gonna opt for dumbbells. Do not use a barbell. And I honestly wouldn't even use an easy bar. I wanna use those dumbbells because if you look here at my hands, I can play around with my wrists 
about the angle that I go. And what you may also find is like a flat skull crusher feels good where a decline might hurt or an incline may feel even better. So again, play around with your angles of your skull crushers. And, if, and again, to kind of circle back, if you, your triceps feel great with a skull crusher but your elbows feel like shit, don't do it. Come back over here to the cable and finish up with an overhead rope extension. Because at the end of the day, all I'm wanting to think about is stretching my tricep, elongating that muscle. So again, do not be married to a certain exercise. Do not be married to, oh, well, so-and-so pro does this and has monster triceps, so I have to do this. No, if your elbow hurts, run like hell from exercise that make it hurt worse, okay? So even though you may see your favorite pros say, if you want big triceps, do close grip bench press. But you get on there and the elbow pain is just excruciating. Don't do it, guys. Please don't. Do exercises that feel good, feel right, and are set up biomechanically for your body. If you learn anything from this channel, that's what we do. Because if you force your body into a position long enough, guess what's gonna happen? Something's gonna snap, break, or pop, and then you're not gonna be able to train at all. So we wanna avoid that at all costs. So if you like this video, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Again, be safe, be smart, but at the same time, train hard, train your balls off. Until next time, Chris Evans TV.